So yes guys, uh, these are the tools I'm going to use today for the the style. Um, you would need all this uh, in order to uh, be able to um, do your hair. Um, I'm going to particularly do what I call undetectable uh, box uh, crochet braid. So you definitely would need your crochet hook, you would need a scissors. Now when it comes to this, most hairdressers we use this particular uh, comb for the, uh, uh, to, to, to section their hair. I personally use this one, this style. See, I can, <laughs> where is the camera? Yeah, I personally use this uh, because it's a bit, it's, it's more softer and very friendly, so I do use that, but it's up to you guys, uh, anybody use what they like. So that's the particular one I use, and especially when it comes to do on the kits here, uh, that one is nice and soft. Uh, the hair moisturizing uh, that I'll be using today as the Canton, if you can help me with to show that, is the Canton, um, Living in conditioner repair cream. So now, when it comes to the things like braid, cornrows, I do use that to moisturize the hair prior to starting the cornrows or braid. The reason is when you have things like uh, cornrows or braid, it does take time to uh, before you can undo it. So therefore, you need a good moisturizer or good in good living in conditioner uh, to keep the hair nice and moist. So that's the. Uh, uh, living in conditioner which that I'll, I'll be using today for uh, to moisturize the hair before uh, the cornrows. These are the braids that I braided. Uh, they are quite a bigger braid. The extension I used as um, this particular one as expression. The number uh, is is eight. I can I'm not able to show you guys, but it's number eight fifty. And it's slightly kind of dark purple, but I thought it was good. It's, it would be a, a nice color. So I've used it before for myself, and um, I like that. So I'm trying to use that for uh, for the person I'm going to uh, braid today. So um, so far, like I said, these are what I've got to use um, as tools for the hair. So you stay tuned, and I will be demonstrating to you what. Um, you should do when it comes to box crochet braid and what you shouldn't do when it comes to box uh, crochet braid. We've got a few things to advise and hopefully that would help you, some of you guys outside there, um, to correct uh, uh, mistakes when it comes to uh, doing this kind of style. So stay tuned and I'll be showing you how it's done. So guys, um the hair has been cornrowed already, so all I've, as I've got to do now is um, put the box braid. But what I'm going to show you today is uh, more about what you should do when it comes to putting a bigger box braid like this into a crochet braid and what you should do. What you shouldn't do and what you should do. So uh, guys, uh, so... Um, when it comes to bigger braid like that, they can be quite difficult for the hook to take it. So I'm going to start by showing you uh, mostly what you shouldn't do when you are having bigger braid like that and you're about to do a crochet braid. Uh, what most people would usually start by putting their hook underneath the cornrows the braid is quite back so it's very hard to get the hook so you have to be careful when you're doing it and 
Right, most people would do it this way. And then uh, follow by pulling it out. When it comes to this particular side of your the hair, it's quite alright. But when you're doing it underneath, somewhere here, if you use the hook to go underneath like that and pull the hair, uh, it's likely the hook, uh, once you pull the hair within a second, the hair would unroll back and uh, become loose. So I have uh, tried all of them and I think the best method when it comes to do your crochet braid is, especially for from the starting, it's better to raise the hook instead of going underneath like that. Uh, you are better off going from the upper side going down like this and um, yeah again when the braid is too big like this although you going underneath like that it's not all that good because if you put it underneath the condo and pull the hair out uh, because the braid is big and the condo is slightly thicker it's likely that it would come out so the best is the good uh, the best example is first of all you use the hook going down to downward but you do not let it go underneath the condo you kind of I'll go this way so you can see it so you kind of take a bit of the hair it's a bit hard because the camera and um, my light is not all that great so you take it a, a, a bit sec a smaller section of the condo not the whole condo just a smaller section get your braid in it it's quite difficult with this particular one because the braid is way thicker and it just doesn't my position is not good as well but yeah so that's getting difficult and then kind of pull it out like that before Normally I would use the hook to just pull it out, but because they are bigger condos, I don't need to do that. So I kind of just put it in and then just simply pull it out. And then you have a nice kind of looking braid and that is unlikely to come out. Uh, if you notice, This is the one I use the hook from going upside down to be pulling it off and then I get it quite nice and solid, well firm so it's not coming off. Now I'm going to do the wrong way which is the wrong way is taking the crochet, putting it from underneath like that. getting your crochet out I don't need to use the crochet to pull it out because it's quite bad so that's the wrong way and the shape I don't know if you can see it with the mirror is not looking all that great but when you look at the one I did on the opposite side it looks nice and firm with the one I did from using the crochet from underneath to going up and bringing it out and slightly floppy and if I give it a minute it would start to come off pretty easily so my advice is if you do in a box braid which I bag like that and take like that especially from the underneath the first section of the hair get your crochet and start from picking the hair from upside down also do not get the crochet completely underneath the condos uh, get just take a wee section um, where the condo is and get your bigger braid out through that because if you go underneath the condo just like this going underneath and pulling it out 
it's just gonna be too thick and it will end up coming off coming off so this is not good so you do not do it that way right there you go just like how I did this one
Your dream.